Hello there. Today we are going to explore one of nature's most beautiful and fascinating creations, the sunflower. Known for their vibrant yellow petals and towering heights, sunflowers have captivated our attention for centuries. But there's much more to these sunny plants than meets the eye. Did you know, for instance, that a sunflower isn't actually a single flower? Or that these flowers have been grown in space? Over the next few moments, we'll be unveiling 10 fascinating facts about sunflowers, each point shedding light on a different aspect of these radiant blooms. From their unique botanical characteristics to their cultural symbolism and their remarkable utility, we'll delve into the many wonders that make sunflowers a truly remarkable species. So, are you ready to embark on this sunny journey? Let's dive into the world of sunflowers. Fact number one, despite its name, a sunflower is not a single flower. You might be thinking, wait, what? How can this be? Well, let me explain. What we often mistake for a single large flower is actually a collection of hundreds, even thousands of tiny individual flowers or florets. These florets are intricately arranged in a spiral pattern, creating the illusion of one big, bright, and cheerful flower. It's like a bustling city, where every building contributes to the overall skyline. In the heart of this floral metropolis, you'll find the central disc. This is often mistaken for the flower itself, but it's where the fertile florets reside. These are the ones that transform into the seeds we all know and love. Surrounding this central hub, you'll find the vibrant petals, which are, in fact, sterile florets. They're like the flashy billboards around Times Square, grabbing your attention and adding to the overall spectacle. So, next time you find yourself gazing at a sunflower, take a moment to appreciate the complexity of its structure. Each sunflower is a marvel of natural architecture, a grand assembly of tiny florets working in harmony to create the illusion of a single, magnificent bloom. Remember, a sunflower isn't just one flower, but a gathering of many tiny flowers. It's a testament to the wonders of nature and the intricate systems it uses to create beauty and abundance. So next time you look at a sunflower, remember, it's not just one, but a gathering of many tiny flowers. Did you know sunflowers are nature's own solar panels? Now that's a thought, isn't it? These bright, cheerful blooms are not just a delight for the eyes, but also masters at tracking the sun's path across the sky, a behavior known as heliotropism. This fascinating movement is not just a whimsical dance with the sun, but a survival strategy. It's all about maximizing exposure to sunlight, which is crucial for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy to fuel their growth. Imagine waking up at dawn, your face turned towards the east, eagerly awaiting the first light of day. As the sun ascends, you follow its path, turning your head from east to west, soaking up every bit of sunlight. This is exactly what young sunflowers do. They start their day facing the east and gradually turn westward as the sun traverses the sky. But here's a fun twist. Once sunflowers reach maturity, they stop this sun-tracking behavior. Instead, they adopt a stable orientation, generally facing east. Why this sudden change in behavior, you might wonder? Well, this fixed eastward orientation allows mature sunflowers to warm up quickly in the morning sun, making them more attractive to pollinators. It's a clever strategy, isn't it? So next time you see a field of sunflowers, remember, they are not just standing there looking pretty. They are actively tracking the sun, optimizing their exposure to sunlight, and even strategizing to attract pollinators. It's a constant reminder of how nature, in its infinite wisdom, equips every living thing with unique abilities to adapt, survive, and thrive in their own unique ways. So sunflowers are not just pretty faces, they are solar trackers too. And that's something to ponder upon the next time you find yourself marveling at these sunny, radiant blooms. Sunflowers are not just flowers, they carry deep symbolism. These bright and cheery flowers are more than their outward appearance. They hold a wealth of cultural and mythological significance. Let's dive into the symbolism surrounding these radiant blooms. In the realm of Greek mythology, sunflowers have a poignant tale attached to them. It's the story of Clytie, a water nymph who was hopelessly in love with Apollo, the sun god. She spent all her days watching him move across the sky, much like how a sunflower tracks the sun. In her sorrow and despair, she transformed into a sunflower, forever to follow the path of her unrequited love. Venturing beyond mythology, sunflowers hold a sacred place in many Native American cultures. Here, the sunflower is more than just a plant. It's a symbol of life, prosperity, and abundance. It's no surprise that these cultures cultivated sunflowers as one of the main crops. The sunflower's ability to grow tall and strong, bearing many seeds, 
echoes the qualities of a good harvest. Moreover, the sunflower symbolizes longevity. Its hardy nature and resilience to harsh conditions mirror the aspiration for a long, healthy life. It's often used in celebrations and ceremonies as a blessing for a long and prosperous life. In modern times, sunflowers have become a universal symbol of positivity and strength. They stand tall and bright, facing the sun with their heads held high. They teach us to seek light and positivity, even in tough times. Sunflowers are also seen as a symbol of loyalty and strong bonds between two people, as it follows the sun consistently. This steadfast behavior mirrors the unwavering faith individuals should have in each other in a healthy relationship. So, sunflowers are not just flowers, they are symbols of hope, abundance, and life. Now let's talk about the delicious sunflower seeds. You might be surprised to know that these scrumptious seeds are not actually nuts, despite their nutty flavor and crunchy texture. In fact, sunflower seeds belong to a category of fruits known as achenes. Now you might be thinking, but they don't look or taste like any fruit I know. Well, in botanical terms, a fruit is a seed-bearing structure that develops from the ovary of a flowering plant. So an achene is a simple dry fruit that contains one seed, and the seed is attached to the ovary wall at a single point. In the case of sunflower seeds, the hard, shell-like structure that we crack open is the outer wall of the achene. Inside it, you find the edible seed which we often mistake as a nut. But unlike true nuts such as acorns or hazelnuts, the shell of an achene doesn't split open to release the seed. Instead, we, the snackers, have to do the job of cracking it open. So, why does this matter? Well, it's not just a fun fact to impress your friends at a party. Recognizing sunflower seeds as fruits rather than nuts can also be important for people with nut allergies. While sunflower seeds are often processed in facilities that also process nuts, which can lead to cross-contamination, the seeds themselves do not contain the same allergens found in true nuts. So, for those who can't enjoy a handful of peanuts or a spread of almond butter, sunflower seeds and sunflower seed butter can be a safe and enjoyable alternative. So, next time you munch on sunflower seeds, remember you're not eating nuts, but fruits. Sunflowers are not just beautiful, they are environmental heroes too. Have you ever thought of a sunflower as a superhero? Well, it's time to reconsider. These vibrant flowers don't just brighten our gardens, they also contribute significantly to soil health and environmental remediation. Sunflowers have a unique attribute that sets them apart from many other plants. They are known as phytoremediators. Now that's a big word, isn't it? But let's break it down. Phyto comes from the Greek word for plant, and remediation means to correct or make right. So in essence, these sunflowers act as nature's very own cleanup crew. But what exactly do they clean up? Sunflowers are capable of extracting heavy metals and toxins from the soil. You heard that right. These plants have a remarkable ability to absorb harmful substances such as lead, arsenic, and even radioactive elements like cesium and strontium. The process of phytoremediation works as the sunflower draws up contaminants along with water and nutrients through its roots. These toxins then get stored in the plant's stems and leaves, effectively removing them from the soil. This incredible trait has been put to practical use in various parts of the world. For instance, sunflowers were used to help clean up contaminated soils after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster and the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. They've also been planted in areas with high lead pollution to help restore the soil. But there's a catch. Once the sunflowers have done their job, they become hazardous waste themselves because of the toxins they've absorbed. Therefore, it's crucial to dispose of these plants safely to prevent the re-release of toxins back into the environment. So the next time you see a field of sunflowers swaying in the breeze, remember, they're not just there for their aesthetic appeal. They're hard at work, pulling harmful toxins from the ground and making the world a healthier place for us all. So, sunflowers are not just pretty, they are nature's own cleanup crew. Ever wondered how tall a sunflower can grow? Well, prepare to be astonished. The world record for the tallest sunflower is held by a sunflower that towered over 30 feet high. Yes, you heard it right, 30 feet. This skyscraper of the plant world was grown in Germany, demonstrating the extraordinary potential of this humble garden favorite. Now, imagine this, a sunflower growing taller than a two-story building, reaching up towards the sky, its sunny face keeping a watchful eye on the world below. It boggles the mind, doesn't it? But that's the magic of nature, always full of surprises and constantly pushing the boundaries of what we think is possible. Growing a sunflower of this magnitude is no small feat. 
It requires optimal conditions, plenty of sunlight, nutrient-rich soil, and a whole lot of patience, but the reward is certainly worth the effort. A sunflower this tall is a sight to behold, a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature. You see, sunflowers are not just beautiful to look at, they are also fascinating in their growth and adaptability. Their ability to grow so tall is a testament to their robustness and their determination to reach for the sun. It's a reminder that even the most common of garden plants can achieve extraordinary things under the right conditions. So, the next time you see a sunflower, remember the giant that reached over 30 feet into the sky. Think of the patience, the care, and the optimal conditions that allowed it to grow so tall. And perhaps it will inspire you to see the potential in the everyday things around you. So given the right conditions, sunflowers can reach astonishing heights. And who knows, maybe one day, you'll be the one to break the record and grow the tallest sunflower in the world. Until then, let's marvel at these giants of the plant world and the wonders they represent. Let's take our sunflowers to space. Now this might sound like a line out of a science fiction movie, but it's actually a fact. Sunflowers, with their cheerful yellow petals and towering stalks, have indeed made it to space. In the year 2012, NASA astronauts took on the challenge of cultivating sunflowers aboard the International Space Station, or the ISS. This was part of a larger experiment to study how plants grow in microgravity. The absence of gravity poses unique challenges to plant growth, as it affects how water and nutrients are transported within the plant. So, you might be wondering, why sunflowers? Well, sunflowers are known for their robust nature and ability to grow in various conditions. This made them a suitable candidate for this space gardening experiment. The astronauts planted sunflower seeds in specially designed plant growth chambers, providing them with the necessary light and nutrients. Over time, the sunflowers unfurled their leaves and stretched towards the light source, their growth unaffected by the absence of gravity. This was a significant achievement, as it provided valuable insights into how plants adapt to microgravity. This knowledge could be used in the future to grow food crops in space, supporting long-duration space missions. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The astronauts faced challenges, such as controlling the water and nutrient supply in the absence of gravity. Despite these hurdles, they successfully grew and flowered sunflowers in space, capturing stunning images of these radiant blooms against the backdrop of the Earth. So sunflowers have not only graced our gardens, but have also reached outer space. These resilient plants have adapted to the challenging conditions of space, offering hope for future space agriculture. They've literally risen above the earth, reaching for the stars. Now isn't that a thought to ponder on? Did you know you can eat sunflower buds? Yes, you heard it right. Those sunflower heads you've been admiring in your garden are not just for show, they can also make a tasty addition to your plate. Before the sunflower heads fully open to reveal the multitude of florets inside, they are in their bud stage. These buds are completely edible and have a flavor reminiscent of artichokes, a beloved vegetable by many. They make a delightful culinary surprise, introducing a new texture and flavor to your dishes. To prepare sunflower buds, you'll want to pick them when they're young and tender, typically when they're about the size of an artichoke. After a quick rinse, they can be steamed or sautéed, depending on your preference. The outer green bracts can be a bit tough, so it's best to remove them before cooking. Once cooked, these buds can be enjoyed in a variety of ways. They can be tossed in salads, mixed into pasta dishes, or simply served as a side dish. Their mild flavor makes them a versatile ingredient that can complement a wide range of other flavors. But the culinary uses of sunflowers don't stop at the buds. The seeds can be roasted for a crunchy snack, used in baking, or ground into a nutritious flour. The petals too are edible and can be used to add a pop of color to salads or desserts. And let's not forget about sunflower oil. Pressed from the seeds, this oil is a staple in many kitchens around the world prized for its high smoke point and light neutral flavor. It's perfect for everything from sauteing and frying to making salad dressings and baking. So next time you're admiring a field of sunflowers, remember that these beautiful flowers are not just a feast for the eyes. With a little creativity in the kitchen, they can be a feast for the palate as well. So, sunflowers are not just for admiring, they can be a part of your dinner too. Sunflower oil, a common ingredient in our kitchens, is more than just oil. It's a powerhouse of nutrient goodness, and its composition is what makes it so special. So, let's take a closer look at what this golden liquid is made of. Primarily, sunflower oil is rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids, particularly linoleic acid. 
This essential fatty acid can't be produced by our body, but it plays a crucial role in our health. It helps to maintain the structure of the cell membranes, aids in nerve function, and is involved in the process of clotting blood. In addition to linoleic acid, sunflower oil also contains a significant amount of oleic acid, a monounsaturated fatty acid. Oleic acid is known for its heart-healthy properties. It helps to reduce levels of bad cholesterol and increase good cholesterol, thus supporting heart health. But the goodness of sunflower oil doesn't stop there. It's also a good source of vitamin E, a powerful antioxidant. Vitamin E helps to protect our cells from damage caused by free radicals, unstable molecules that can lead to chronic diseases and aging. Moreover, sunflower oil carries phytosterols, compounds that can help lower cholesterol levels. These plant-derived compounds are structurally similar to cholesterol and can inhibit its absorption in the digestive tract. And let's not forget about the presence of lecithin in sunflower oil. Lecithin aids in maintaining a healthy liver and can also support brain health. So you see, sunflower oil is not just an oil. It's a blend of nutrients that can support our health in various ways. It's a great choice for cooking and frying, not only for its high smoke point that allows it to maintain its nutritional properties even at high temperatures, but also for its light, pleasant taste that doesn't overpower the flavor of the food. So, cooking with sunflower oil is not just about taste, but also about health. Last but not least, sunflowers are not just yellow. Let's unwrap the fascinating diversity of this delightful plant. Sunflowers are a marvel of nature, not just in their growth and behavior, but also in their impressive variety. These sun-loving plants come in an array of shapes, sizes, and colors, each more charming than the last. While the classic image of a sunflower is a towering plant with a large, bright yellow head, there's so much more to explore in the sunflower world. Imagine a field filled with sunflowers, not just in bright sunny yellow, but also in hues of red, orange, and even white. Picture petals that are striped, creating a stunning visual display. These vibrant variations are all a part of the sunflower family, each with its own unique charm and appeal. But the diversity doesn't stop at color. Sunflowers also come in different sizes, from petite dwarf varieties perfect for a small garden or pot, to the giant varieties that can grow to impressive heights, there's a sunflower to fit every space and aesthetic. That's the beauty of diversity. It allows for individuality, and sunflowers are no exception. In the same way, the shape of sunflowers can also vary. Some have large round heads filled with seeds, while others have a more delicate, daisy-like appearance. Each variety has its own distinctive character, adding to the richness of the sunflower family. So when you think of sunflowers, let your imagination wander beyond the classic yellow image. Picture the wide array of colors, sizes, and shapes that these beautiful plants can offer. Sunflowers are a celebration of diversity, a testament to the rich variety found in nature. So, sunflowers are not just about yellow, they come in a beautiful array of colors. Their diversity is a reflection of the vibrant world we live in, a world filled with endless possibilities and variations. Isn't that something to marvel at? We've come to the end of our sunny adventure. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of sunflowers, uncovering 10 amazing facts. From learning that a sunflower is not a single flower, but a cluster of florets, to its impressive heliotropism, following the sun's journey across the sky. We've delved into the symbolism of sunflowers in various cultures and discovered that sunflower seeds are not true nuts. We've explored how sunflowers are nutrient accumulators, helping to clean up contaminated areas. We've marveled at the world's tallest sunflower, grown to an astonishing height of over 30 feet. We've seen sunflowers in space, grown aboard the International Space Station. We've tasted edible sunflower buds and analyzed the composition of sunflower oil. Finally, we've admired the diverse varieties of sunflowers, from classic yellow to red, orange, white, and even striped petals. Which fact did you like the most? Don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.